Liverpool, England, February 12, 1993. A two-year-old toddler, James Bulger, was abducted from a shopping mall by two 10-year-old boys, Robert Thompson and John Venables. Why did nobody intervene to help James? It's sometimes said there's safety in numbers, but it may be just the opposite. This was demonstrated by John Darley and Bib Latinay. They conducted a whole series of studies where they manipulated the number of people who witnessed or knew about an emergency, and they showed that the more people who were present, or who were believed to be present, the less likely any one of those persons was to help. And that's what became known as the bystander effect. Latine and Dali attributed the bystander effect to two key factors, diffusion of responsibility and social influence. The bystander effect can help to explain the lack of witness intervention when James was taken from the shopping mall out into the busy streets. But later, other witnesses saw James when there were very few or no other people around. So why didn't they intervene? Psychological research isn't just about finding out why we think and act the way we do. It's also about application. Using this knowledge to help change or improve something. So, how can the psychology of bystander behaviour help us to become more proactive witnesses?